hello. We are now joined by Frank Pape of Microsoft. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, Good. How's the day been going for it's you? It's been great. We've been inundated with people here to see Game Room, other titles in our block party promotion. It's been great. Awesome. People let's, are loving it. Let's talk about Game Room. I grew up in arcades. So uh, at the announcement that, that it seemed like someone was going to really do some honest, digitally distributed emulation, yes. I was pretty excited. Yes. Uh, what, what can you tell me about it? What, what is the, the, the story with Game Room? So the story with Game Room, kind of the seed for it a long time ago, I was sitting in a room with a couple guys uh, that ran MGS and Live, mm. and they said, hey, maybe we ought to go do an emulator, maybe a Dreamcast emulator. And I said, you know what, I love Dreamcast, but maybe we should do an everything emulator. And they were like, can we do that? Yeah, let's go do that, and here you go. Let's talk about the asynchronous challenges for a sec. Yeah. Uh, that looked like it was really customizable in terms of just like, what you wanted to get your friends to do. How, like, Absolutely. What's the depth there? Like, how, how deep can you go when you're creating a challenge? You, you can go really deep. So originally we thought it could be as easy as just the high score. I would say, hey, I have the high score in Asteroids Deluxe. I sent it out to a bunch of friends. It's 65,000, see if you can beat it. And I'd send an avatar, he'd taunt you, and you'd have to go back in, accept it, and beat me down, send a taunt back, mock me, and so the cycle goes. We wanted to do more than that, though. We said, hey, you know what? I want to customize how long the challenge lasts. Maybe I want it to be survival of one level. Maybe I want it to be high score. Maybe I want it to last a day, a week, two hours, you name it. We could toggle all that on and off and send that challenge out. But what we really needed to do was get a save game state for it, like a DVR, where it right. records all the footage that you've done when you've played in the game, which is what we've done. And as soon as we've been able that, with it recording all this info and saving it to our servers, we said, you know what, we can do some more cool things with that. We can take the challenges from within the game and maybe only do a boss battle as the challenge. And that's the only thing that I send off to you. Or I can rewind, which is awesome, that I'll show you So when they start the challenge, they can be yeah. deep into the game at a, at a really high level, and it's like, okay, now you need to last. Completely. Cool. Take it all the way out and say maybe it's like Centipede Screen 30. Okay, can you make it pass? That's your challenge. No, I cannot. That's it. And that challenge will show up while you're playing. You'll see an icon come in, and it'll be, hey, you got a challenge. Or it'll show it in the ticker for the game, and you'll know you have one. So it doesn't pull you out of the experience. You can finish whatever you're playing, and then go in knowing you have a challenge, go accept it or not, mm -hmm. and go try and kick some butt. Cool. Well, yeah, uh, let's talk about time warp. Uh, you, you were about to yeah. show me some rewinding. Yeah, yeah. Let's I'm rewind time. That. Let's rewind right now. I'm going to go in. I'm going to show you a little pitfall action. Okay. And I'm going to rewind it. I'm showing some great Atari 2600 love right here. And here is Pitfall. I'm jumping on. I got Classic Mode, which is just like the original. Uh -huh. Ranked Mode, which is the one that feeds into your leaderboards and your okay. dynamic scoring. Bunch of other stuff, game history real quick, instructions. Upgrade Play Anywhere, cool stuff. I'm gonna jump in here. Single player, let's do some Pitfall. Here I go. So it's great to see the arcade all active and lively behind me. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you noticed, it's the exact same screen that I'm oh, on so on her screen. Matching up. Wow, and nice. you saw the Pitfall uh, Harry icon running through there. Oh, there he yeah. is. He's behind me. But check this out. I'm going to jump in. Oh, look at that. And I'm going to make it through here, but then something bad might happen. That's, I'm not sure, but this might happen. The, the, what am I going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rewind, and I'm going to start again. That's cheating. And now, oh, isn't it? You're it's cheating. the best kind of cheating. <laughs> and now I might be able to make it across without dying if I'm careful. So that's a really cool feature. The arcade here, I'll move around a little bit in it so you can see it. We've got the uh, camera cruising around, all these icons moving around. Yeah. The icons are great, so you'll see the uh, tank from Battlezone. What we intend to do with these icons, and the players of Super Cobra, yeah. I call them mascots, and when I was first sitting down with the team, I thought it'd be a great idea, they thought I was nuts. And I said, you know what, I am nuts, but let's go do it anyway. Like, let's throw these mascots in yeah. and bring a retro vibe to a really cool 3D space. So now everybody, I think, is really happy with how they turned out. Chrome did a great job. The intent is, hey, you buy Super Cobra on the day it comes out, you plop that machine down, boom, out comes the Super Cobra helicopter. Nice. Flies right out of the machine, and now you own it. And you can turn it on or off. You can let it fly around. You can keep it in your collection, whatever you like. If you don't get it on day of launch, then you can go buy it for 40 points and fill out your arcade yeah, collection bonus that way. Or like that. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Uh, now I've seen that there are medals that work on a per game basis. That's right. Now how, how do the how do those work and how do those tie into the overall achievement system? So the medal system is a complement to the achievements. There's a meddling system that's very specific to different scoring levels of play, how long you play, and you'll be able to brag and use those as bragging rights within the game system itself. Uh -huh. And then there's 60 achievements that you can earn and a thousand gamer score. And, and that, that sits at like the game level, the game room level. That's right. That okay. sits at the game room level. So we still have all that achievement love you'll want to earn and the gamer score you want to earn. Okay. And as the game progresses and gets bigger, we're flexible folks, great folks working in Marketplace. 
we'll see what we can do with that number, but we're just going to get bigger and bigger. We're cool. going to start off with 30 games at launch. Yeah. We're going to flow seven out on a weekly basis after that for as long as it makes sense with the intent to get up to 1,100 titles. All right, uh, Frank, when is it uh, looking to come out uh, as a part of this block of, of Arcane? But what week? I'm trying to nail people down. What's, I can't, what's I can't tell you. I can't tell you. But you know, Here's what but I can't. You know, I, right? I, I hope so. I hope I do. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe actually the bugs. We still got some bugs left. I don't know. Okay, yeah. No, here's where we are. So Block Party is the month of March. First game in Block Party is Toy Soldiers, which is an awesome game that's coming out March 3rd. Uh -huh. There's three other titles after that, Scrap Metal, Perfect Dark over here, and Game Room. And I can't give you more detail than that. I can just tell you that it's soon. All right. So you're going to be able to get your hands on this puppy in March, and I hope you play it on PC and 360. Great. Frank, thank you very much for your time. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.